so far on Money Pit, we've taken this $2,500 Miata from a stock clunker to a real slam dunker. We've put almost $9,500 into it, and it feels like a totally different car. It feels like a race car. But is it a race car? Is it actually any better than it was? Well, today, I'm at a real life racetrack to find out. So the question is, have all these parts made this thing any faster than a stock Miata? About a 146. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that's find out. I'm Zach, and this is Money Pit. Let's rip, baby. So the question is, how much faster can I even run than a stock Miata? How much faster can I run than about a 146? I think to make all this stuff worth it, I got to break into the 130s. I would say I got to shave at least six seconds off that 146 to get into the 130s to make it worth it. I think we can do it. Let's take a look at everything we've done so far to get us to that 130 whatever. All right, so let's talk about where we've spent all that money. For wheels and tires, we went with a set of NK RPF ones wrapped in Toyo R888 R's, and they're being suspended by a set of Skunk 2 coilovers. We've got we got H&R sway bars under there doing their thing. Uh, we've got a bunch of chassis bracing from Flying Miata and V8 Roadster and from Zarek. We've got OMP seats and harnesses, Miata Roadster, short shifter, an Exedi clutch and flywheel. We got a racing beat intake on there and a Roadster Sport header back to a MagnaFlow exhaust. We've got innovative engine mounts holding the engine in place. That has totaled up to $9,500 just in modifications. That doesn't include the $2,500 I paid for the car. The money that we haven't spent is on brakes and our cooling system. So those are my biggest concerns for today. Uh, it shouldn't be a very big braking track. I shouldn't have to use the brakes too much, so I think they'll be fine. But it is hot right now and getting hotter. It's supposed to be 103 degrees out here today, so we're really gonna tax the cooling system, which is a known weak point on the Miata already. So I am a little concerned that we're gonna overheat. But that just gives us more episodes of Money Pit to make, so wouldn't be the end of the world, would it? So now the only thing left to do is put this thing on the track finally and see if all that money is worth it. Uh. Shall we? The car feels great, but after about one hard lap, we're getting hot, like overheating. So I'm gonna give it a minute to cool off, let it come back down to temp. Then I'm gonna go out, do a soft lap, and then come across the line flying and try to get one good time. So I'm gonna go do that now. So it seems that I popped the fuse that controls all the gauges, so none of my gauges work, so I gotta put a new fuse in it. Otherwise, I'm not gonna know if I overheat it to death. When you redline this thing, every once in a while, it pops the, uh, the fuse that controls, all, that controls all the gauges. So I lost my tack, and I importantly lost my uh, coolant temp sensor, so we wouldn't have known if I was overheating it. So I just pulled back in to replace the fuse, and now we're gonna get back out, and hopefully not blow the fuse again. Well, I'm sure that was exceptionally slow. Yeah, my gauge is went again, so I wasn't on full throttle. I think we can do it. 
Uh, maybe if I can find a 20 amp fuse, that'll hold them together. So I put an even bigger fuse in the gauge spot, which is not the correct fix, but I just need to get through today. So hopefully we're gonna go back out and the gauges will work and I can keep an eye on our temperature and we can actually get some laps because right now my lap time is a minute and 56 seconds, which is unacceptable. <laughs> So hopefully the gauges stay on, hopefully the temp stays down, and we can turn some laps. But I'm starting to get concerned that's not gonna happen. So let's find out. good shape the car feels so good and we made a whole hard lap without overheating then the temp started creeping up on the second lap like pretty hard and then the gauges went gauges died on the second lap with a 20 amp fuse there's a real issue and I don't know what it is yet and uh, putting bigger fuses in it isn't the fix so, so I think that means today that the fastest lap we're gonna run is a 156 which is really disappointing I mean we weren't doing it any favors by dragging it into the desert to beat the hell out of all day, but I was hoping it would hold together at least once. That's not the case. So it looks like we're gonna have to do some serious cooling upgrades and get back here. Because honestly, this is my, this is my personal mission now. I need to get into the 130s on this track in this car. And on that bombshell, I guess remember to subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at Zach Job, and follow Donut at Donut Media. I really appreciate you guys watching me give it a shot and I hope it goes better next time. Shut these beds up. Hey guys, we just wanted to check in and let you know, we're gonna take next week off for a much needed summer vacation slash parrot hunting expedition. But don't worry, nothing's ending. Money Pit's not ending. We'll be back next week with all the regular stuff you're used to. We're just taking a quick vacation. Don't miss us too much.